Hey everyone, Brian from Workshop Addict, and today we're going to take a look at DeWalt's 20 volt max 5 inch deep cut portable bandsaw. This is model number DCS 374P2, and the P2 designates that it comes with two 5 amp hour 20 volt max batteries, a charger that will charge both the 12 volt and 20 volt max batteries, and a case. This case is nice, it will actually hold a couple extra blades and for some reason it's a little bit tricky to get the bandsaw back in for some people. Once you know where it goes it's pretty simple but first time you take it out remember where it's at because we've had a lot of people handle this and they go to put it back in the case and it's actually fun to watch them kind of jiggle it around a little bit. Now some specs on this we have a five inch wide cut four and three quarter inch depth. So if you're cutting round tubing, this is only gonna go for four and three quarter inches. Now we have a max blade speed of 490 surface feet per minute, and that is adjustable on the side with this dial lever, or dial. Um, pretty nice, easy to adjust. The variable speed trigger allows you a little bit more control as you start out. I actually used this today. I had a little project. We have a pump that's going through, kind of eroding a little bit of the ditch bank. So I just needed to make somewhat of a 90 or a bend in a pipe. So we had some three inch eighth wall tubing sitting here. I just had to make a quick cut, weld it up so that we're not eroding the bank of the ditch. Um, you can be very accurate with these bandsaws. But in my case, trying to make a 45 on a three inch tube is not gonna happen with the five inch cut. So I just got as close as I could, welded it up. It'll work for now. But since we had this three inch eighth wall tubing sitting around, I wanted to do a cut test. So I was able to cut 29 separate cuts on this tubing, two of which were angled cuts um, on one five amp hour battery. What surprised me is that the five amp hour battery at the end was still running. It was unable to cut, but the blade would still turn very slowly. There wasn't a real cutoff, so I was a little bit fearful of what stress you were putting this battery under. I actually expected the tool to cut off, and it didn't. So something to watch out for as you, uh, the tool actually held speed right up until the last two cuts, and then it just went downhill really quick. Excellent uh, runtime out of this. This is uh, some pretty decent tubing for this to cut. While you're watching it, it probably looks like it's a small tube inside this big throat. Um, but it's actually what I would use this for. These bandsaws are quite large. So if you have a small project, a lot of automotive stuff, um, they're pretty big to try to fit in. In fact, there's a lot of more compact bandsaws out there that would work better for those situations. But if you're cutting something large, this is excellent. So I'd say anything two inches and above, here's where you should go. Now you do have an adjustable work stop here. It's adjustable with an Allen wrench that is actually nicely stored on the blade tensioner. But unfortunately, the more you cut, these Allen bolts will actually start to get gobbed up with, with the hot metal that you're cutting a little bit. I wish this was tool free. Uh, a lot of the other ones on the market are tool free and this would be a lot easier to use and faster to use if it was tool free, but I do have to give them credit for the nice storage of where they put the tool. Uh, there's also a blade tracking adjustment, so if your blade isn't tracking where you want it to be, very easy to adjust, uh, simple, you can do it on the fly. The tools are not included or kept on this to do it, but you shouldn't have to adjust your blade that often. Changing the blade is simple. The blade tensioner is easy to use. It's just a handle that you flip out. Um, the, the bearing guides in here are excellent, very precise, easy to use, slide everything in and out. And the LED light that's on this is in an excellent spot. It works in low light and even in good lighting situations, you can see when it turns on. The one thing that stood out to me about this is an adjustable handle on the front. A lot of the other ones that I've used has not had this sort of D-ring handle on the front and I really enjoy that it's adjustable. While there are a few detents that you can adjust it to, it's not, um, you're not gonna adjust it up perfectly, but I don't think you need to. It's nice to have the handle there. The downside to it is if the handle is up, it gets in the way of the battery sliding out. Not a big deal. Uh, if you need to adjust the handle there, it's better to have the safety of the handle in the place and then move it to get the battery out when needed. 
Now, this comes with DeWalt's three year warranty and a 90 day money back guarantee. So if you don't like it, you can always return it. I really think that if you're looking for a nice bandsaw, you're in the DeWalt line, this is the place to go. This reminds me a lot of the other uh, brushless bandsaws that we've used. So I think it's got excellent runtime, great power, the, the variable speed trigger and the adjustable dial can allow you to, to really dial in on the speed that you want to cut. This would be great for cutting PVC outside or just doing any sort of metal cutting on the go. Great tool, check them out. Stop by Workshop Addict, we got a blog and a forum over there. We do a lot on social media, so catch up with us out there. We keep a lot of things going in real time. We got a lot of projects, a lot of automotive things happening. Also give us a like and subscribe to our channel. We'll keep you up to date on projects in tool news that's coming out. Thanks for your time guys, have a great day.